the Grim Reaper of the Discworld. I will travel the round world to seek answers to all your questions about Discworld. Today, we will examine these entities, the Auditors of Reality. Good evening. Good, Good evening, evening, Lord Downey. You appear to be a spectre. Oh, Our nature is, is not a matter, matter for discussion. We, we offer you a commission. I am here to speak to Mr. Colin Smythe, Discworld's archivist. Don't worry. It's not an official visit. May I come in? Yes. Mr. Smythe, tell me about the auditors, civil servants of Discworld. You do not like the auditors. They are rather unpleasant creatures. Uh, I do not think anyone holds any affection for them. We need to know your name or names in strict client confidentiality, of course. You may think of us as the auditors. Really? What do you audit? Everything. The auditors, as you say, run the entire multiverse. They are the people that make sure that in their own view, life proceeds in the way that it ought to, neatly, tidily, and dully. They are not people to tolerate anything that is outside the norm, and they have absolutely no personality or sense of individuality of their own. Is this a joke? We have no sense of humour. Civil servants, the more than my job's worth sort of uh, individual, uh, the ones who can never make their own decision. They never trust uh, fewer than three of them because there's always one, as it were, checking up on the other two. Then there's a group decision, and the group decision then avoids anyone being responsible. And what they hate is life, because life is messy, life is hard to control. What they like is dust and, and gas and things never changing for millions of years. Regrettably, however, there are certain rules. They cannot directly interfere. It would be very nice from their point of view just to drop a great big asteroid on us and have done. Very elegant. It is. You have to start somewhere. Once you have their little minds in your grip, it's goodbye, Hogfather. All they can do is, shall we say, encourage us to destroy ourselves which is where i come in as a matter of fact you can't do this there are rules yes there are rules but you broke them how dare you how dare you Well, I trust I've convinced you that the auditors provide a valuable service. As long as I'm around to keep them in check, I hope you're grateful. I'll be seeing you, but not just yet.